Thank you for joining me. This is Flyman Mavic, as always. Welcome. Subject of today's video is long range flying. Now, when I talk about long range flying, I don't actually mean flying a very long range, I mean just the amount of time that your quad can spend in the air. Um, and because of that, of course, you need to have some additional batteries. It's been a while since I thought about doing it, but to be honest with you, the cost is sort of it's quite high uh, if you want to start off in this particular field and it was the cost more than anything else that put me off would you know would it work wouldn't it work etc and i found uh, some good results um so i thought what i'll do is i'll put a video together and i'll show you exactly what equipment i use now the first thing you're going to need is this this is the dji mavic pro battery adapter clip this is from maxuav.eu it is quite expensive this is probably the one thing that put me off was the fact it was nearly 60 euros um but you, you, I've seen other people say, well, you can do this, you can take the quad apart, you can solder wires onto the board. I didn't particularly want to go pulling the Mavic to bits and drilling holes in the case for cables. When I found out about this, I thought that will do me. Now, the second thing you're going to need is the battery mounts. One of these. It's just a saddle that clips over the Mavic and holds the batteries. And of course, last but not least, you're also going to need batteries. Now in England we can't get certain models, uh, we're very limited on ebay.co.uk for uh, battery types and I came across these, the Turnigy, uh, 3 cell 11.4 volt batteries. Uh, so far uh, they've actually done me quite well, I've done a couple of test flights and uh, I'm quite impressed with their ability to give me some extra flying time, now we'll reveal the flying time uh, at the end of the video. Now, of course, um, you're talking £27, I think they are, for the batteries. Uh, the mount is 20 quid, so there's £50, and then another €50, Euros, there's £100. And you're also, of course, going to need one of these. A battery charger. Now, for those of you, who've, you know, who, who do this all the time, this might not look like anything brilliant. Uh, this was about 25 quid. I think it was I paid for it. And I got it because obviously I've got no idea about this. This is all new to me, as it's probably new to you guys as well. Um, there probably are better ones. There probably are more expensive ones, ones that do a better job, etc., etc. But just for starting with, to get the batteries charged up, um, this one uh, I brought off eBay, as I said, quite cheap. The only disappointment I had was that it requires a 12 volt input. I mean, how many of us really have uh, any kind of 12 volt power packs in our house? I was looking for some kind of mains charger unit. Luckily for me, however, um, I did have one here. And it uses the standard three pin kettle lead. It comes with all sorts of leads. And this is the one that I'm using. It's basically two banana plugs into what we call the XT60 connector. And all you do is you plug it in and then you have to go through the menus once you put the battery on. Um, so let's have a look at the actual battery and all the rest of it. So let's have a look. We've got, there's the turning battery that I bought. Only addition I've had to make is to cut the plastic and I'll show you why that is in a moment. This is the clip and I really do like this. It's nicely done. It's got the Max written across there. Velcro straps are holding the batteries in when you put them in and you have to spread it to put it on the Mavic and I'll show you that in a moment when I assemble it all. But first of all, what sort of flight time did I get? Well, I'm happy to report that with the one battery, uh, I've got an extra couple of minutes, no big deal there. With both the batteries on, I got 32 minutes from full down to 5%. Now hang on, I know what you're thinking. Um, 5%? No, no, the, the quad automatically lands at 10%. Well, yes, normally the quad will land uh, at 10% automatically, you can't stop it. However, if you have a Mavic Pro and certain other quads, there's a program written by a guy called Brett called the Super Patcher, which allows you to make changes to the battery settings on the DJI system. I'll show you that quite quickly now. This is the program, Brett's DJI Super Patcher. Very easy to use, I won't go in great detail, but it does do all the Mavic range, the Spark, the Phantom 4s, the Inspire 2, etc. And just follow the instructions, it does work, I've tried it many a times and gone through it many a time. All we're interested in, of course, is just the fact that you can now basically uh, set battery options to what you want. 
Um, it says disabled force auto landing due to smart low battery, uh, but please note a final emergency auto landing will only occur at the emergency low voltage level, which is 3 volt per cell, which is well below the safe voltage to fly. Um, so you can fly your battery down to zero, and I have done, and uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do if you want to. So again, I'll put a link below uh, to this program and use that because you do need to disable smart batteries should you want to do any kind of long range flying. So let's take a quick look at the battery charger. Uh, as it's what's called a balanced charge, uh, you need to have this little balance plug and that simply goes in a socket there. Just pop it in like that, so. And then connect the battery up, first of all. Don't turn the power on until you connect up the battery. Plug that in. And then take your 12 volt source and plug that in. And as you can see, it now lights up. I'm not sure how well this is going to show on camera. Um, I don't seem to know if that's showing up at all. Sorry if it's not showing up properly. It says program select lithium battery. You can charge lithium, NIMS, NICADs, uh, PB of the acid, uh, etc. with this. So we're going to go for lithium. Uh, I know it's a lipo, just bear with me a second. You press enter and it says LIHV. Discharge, balance, charge, fast charge, etc. etc. You just scroll through until you find you can put it down to storage level, you can use this discharge the batteries if you're not using them. There's balance charge and there's just basic charge. Charge just fills up the cells. Balance charge makes sure that each cell has the right amount of voltage and ampage in each one. Once you found what you want to do, there's also a fast charge as well, which is handy if you want to just get them charged up for a quick fly around. Uh, again, story. So we're just going to go to balance charge. You can turn the beeping off, by the way. Uh, you just press the enter button, enter again, and then hold down enter. Makes a beep, says battery check. If you reverse the battery connections at this point, it will say battery connections reversed. And then press enter, you'll see it will now start to charge. Now, I don't want to charge those because they're at storage level, so I'm going to just stop the charging there. That's it. I mean, it, it did take me, I must admit, about 10 or 15 minutes and basically trying to read through the instructions to understand how to use a balance charger. Go ahead and laugh if you're, you, you know, if you're used to using balance chargers. I've never handled one in my life. I have no idea how they work, but in the end, I managed to work it out. As you can see on the screen, it shows you how to actually plug uh, the adapter on, and it goes on the 1, 2, 3rd and 4th, and the 6th and 7th connection. Now, I have noticed something, and we'll go back to the quad and I'll show you this. So here's my adapter. When I put this on, and you bear in mind you have to just gently tease it down onto the contacts like so. So just give a little bit of a press. So it's then in there like so. When you, I'm trying to get this camera angle right, it sits, but the little things aren't quite flush with the bodywork. You can see through the, the bit of a gap there you can see through. From that side though, it does look all right. It's, it's sat, I think it's because obviously it has to raise a little bit to go into the bottom of the battery connections there. But that's how you put on it. It's dead simple. And all you need to do, of course, is get your battery and that will hold the clip in place. So let me put on the battery saddle. Here's the battery saddle. And what you need to do is you need to just take it over like that. Ah, school by error. Make sure little notch goes over the battery button. I put this on before and realised what I'd done. So basically just spread it apart, pull it down over the body of the quad, line this up and let go. And if you turn it over, you'll see it just basically clips in like that and then like so. That means really that's going absolutely nowhere. Solid, reliable. Put the batteries in. Now you'll see why in a moment, why I said you had to cut little bit of plastic on this battery. When I pop it in, like so, and I get the Velcro around it, just bear with me a second. The lead is here, and as you can see, it actually does fit nicely into, I'm not going to plug it in because it will power up the quad, it does fit nicely in there. With this, as I say, I had to cut the plastic just to bring, you can see the cable just coming out from the other leg there, and then that just plugs in. Don't plug in your battery until you power on the main flight battery and make sure you unplug them before powering off the main flight battery. So the results as I said were 32 minutes of flight time having the two extra batteries on which gives me about another five minutes of flight time 
with the 3000 milliamp batteries. I am next going to buy some higher ampage ones and hopefully some smaller ones and some lighter ones because the weight obviously uh, affects the total flight time as well. Well that's it, um, £125 let's say, um, no let's start again because the 60, so call it £50 for the mount, um, £20, sorry, £50 for the battery adapter, £20 for the mount is £70, the two batteries 27 each. So that's 124 plus the charger, 144. So probably you're looking at the outlay of about 150 pound. This was why I put off doing it for so long. Not really sure whether 150 pound to get an extra five, maybe six minutes, you know, was something I wanted to do. But I thought I've done everything else with this quad. I've, I've, it's you know, it's been software modified in every way possible with the no limit drones with Brett Super Patcher. I thought the time had come to have a look at putting extra batteries on, and that's what I've done. But of course it doesn't stop there because now I need to buy some bigger batteries and then test fly that. The only problem is of course at the moment we have Storm Dennis over England. We just had Storm Carl, we've got Storm Dennis. Who knows next week we'll have Storm Edward, then Storm Freddy and so on. And we may never get to fly until September, I don't know. Really disappointed about that. Anyway, um, that's it. That's how you set up for some long range, extra time in the air flying. And uh, I will... When I get the chance, I will take some videos and I will put some videos up of flight times, etc, etc. I just thought I'd want to show you this and then if you want to get into it, I'll leave a link below to the various components that I've used as well, as well as I said, Brett Super Patcher. Otherwise, that's it for me this week. Thank you very much as always for watching this video. If you aren't yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll know when I've uploaded videos. Because I try to get one out at least once every two weeks or at least twice a month on average. Anyway, take care and as always, fly safely.